Um, and, you know, there was a moment where Jay, I was playing defense against Cade and he went to the hole and I got elbowed in the face. Like, the first possession. Flagrant elbow. Um, so I was, you know, a welcome to NBA moment. What's up, you Piston fans, especially you old school Piston fans like myself. Uh, this is a posting from Motor City Sports Talk, a guy I'm subscribed to, and he had a nice post that talks about something that I'm always a fan of when it comes to the, the Detroit Pistons, especially uh, with them trying to restore or rebuild or whatever people want to believe that they're doing right now. But it's all on the premise of the fact that the Detroit teams that won championships, the Pistons teams that won championships, it was, it was based on defense, lockdown defense. And I mean, this post he had here just really set the tone for where I am as far as what I'm looking forward to. What I've always loved growing up watching the Pistons was defense. Um, you know, I always um, brag about that I've been a Pistons fan since the Pistons were playing in the Silver Dome with the curtain up. You know, we had half of the Silver Dome covered by a big curtain and the Pistons were playing on the other half. But it was those times and leading up to the, the championships that uh, defense was was the calling card for what the Detroit Pistons stood for. And that's what gave us all that hope, that love of the, of the Detroit Pistons because the, you know that's what the culture here was in Detroit. It was about grit, working hard, grinding. And then the going to work Pistons, being Wallace Rasheed, Wallace Tayshawn, uh, Chauncey Billups, it was all about defense then. Mike James, Lindsey Hunter. It was all about defense then. So having that as the calling card for what the Detroit Pistons were about, the bad boys with the Jordan rules, all of that, and the Pistons uh, recapturing that when they went for their second uh, championship runs after the double back in the day with Isaiah and Dumars, doing that again back in 2004, uh, really set the standard on what Detroit Pistons were all up, was up. It was all about. It was all about defense, and that's what Troy's here to, trying to restore. So the post that Motor City Sports Talk had says here that 03, 04 Detroit Pistons held their opponents to under 70 points 11 times during one season. The Pistons held it, and now what that means is that some games. 11 times that season, they held opponents under 70 points. That's unheard of. That's unheard of. Under 70 points? Right now, who's holding somebody under 70 points? If somebody held somebody under 70 points, that's big time news on ESPN. I can hear Steven, uh, Steven Smith talking about that right now. Kendrick Perkins, I can hear them talking about that right now. Who's holding somebody under 70 points? Right now with this Showtime NBA, because they're more focused on selling tickets and more focused on TV views that they're locked in on and, and focused on offense. But when you got a team that's defensively locking team, it was boring basketball for a lot of people. But us Piston fans, we loved it. We loved it because that was the grit. That was the identity that the Pistons had in years before, championship teams before. Lockdown defense, playing good defense. Jordan rules. You ain't coming in here. I don't care if you're Jordan or not. You're not coming in the paint. You're going to get fouled hard. Go to the free throw line and get them two you was trying to get. Don't care if you're Jordan or not. When the Pistons set them Jordan rules, whoever you was trying to come in the paint, you're going to have to deal with Lambert. You're going to have to deal with Rick Mahorn. You're going to get fouled hard. Then you're going to have to deal with John Sally coming in there blocking your shots. You're not scoring in the paint. Go ahead and get them two points from the free throw line. Rasheed Wallace and Ben Wallace, no fly zone. You're not coming in the paint. If you get past Rasheed or Tayshawn or one of the other perimeter defenders, you got to deal with Ben. He on his way. And you know what he finna do. He finna block that shot. He finna block that shot. They didn't do as much fouling, <laughs> as much hard fouling as Lambert and Rick Mahorn. They will beat you down. Hence the name Flagrant Elbow. Right? But they would, they would beat you down in that paint. Ben Wallace and Rasheed, you're not, you're not throwing up no layup. You better adjust. You better make the adjustment if you're coming in there trying to score. If you get past the perimeter defenders, you better make the adjustment. Chauncey Billups uh, ended up making a, a defensive 
first team, I believe. First or second team, one of them. But they ended up looking like all-star defenders. Chauncey with no all-star defender. I remember watching plenty of them games like, Chauncey can't check nobody. He can't stay in front of nobody. But he made that award or that he got that uh, as, as, as a name for him because of the fact that he knew who was behind him defensively. You could steer that opponent towards the defensive line, wherever you were at. You could steer them towards the big band. You could steer them toward Rasheed. So he put it here in his post on Motor City Sports Talk. Like I said, excellent post. Talking about lockdown defense, 70 points, 11 times, which included a five game streak. And that streak was against, uh, we got the Sixers, the Blazers, the Nuggets, the Sonics, the Bulls, and the Sixers again. That's six teams, but regardless, that's, that's impressive. That's impressive, man. So I just wanted to highlight this, and I mean, for everybody that knows me, as far as what they're hearing through my content, I like defense. I like defense. And if you're a person that likes defense too, subscribe to the channel. Stay locked in. We're going to talk about these Pistons. But that's just something as a highlight that I wanted to share with everybody. Uh, everybody, this is, a, this is an excellent post. And he got the teams here listed in those 11 games. And I appreciate that. This is a nice list here. Wizards, Celtics. Rockets, Sixers, Blazers, Nuggets, Sonics, Bulls, Sixers, Pacers, Raptors. And I mean, um, a t teams hit 69. Out of those 11 games, uh, the opposing team hit 69 points only twice. 68 points twice. After that, it was 66 and under. Pistons was locking teams down. So I look forward to that, even with Jaden Ivey and his offensive what we know he's going to bring offensively, his speed. Uh, if he can translate that, and I think uh, Casey and Troy are on him as far as translating that defensively too. You got the speed to get past everybody, had that speed to keep up with everybody defensively. Be that guy defensively too. Kay Cunningham, like one of my videos on Kay's new assignment from Casey. Lockdown the opposing team's best offensive player. Let's focus on that this year. Isaiah Livers. He already showed in Summer League that he's willing to be def a defensive juggernaut and to do his best defensively. In Summer League, that was true, but he still showed the effort. Jalen Duran has the potential to be a nice rim protector in the league. Don't forget, we have Nerlene's Noel, rim protector. So, Killian Hayes, defense, lock now defense. So, this whole team, not to mention you know, Isaiah Stewart and everybody else, this whole team, the restore, the rebuild is hinged on defense. And that's where these pistons are going. And that's what we can look forward to. If you like defense, Sometimes the games can be boring. But hey, if we miss a three-point shots and our offense not clicking, then we still can rely on that defense. And the way the team is structured now, our offense should be clicking regardless. But, but that doesn't mean shots going in the basket. So offenses can go up and down. Whether they click or not, it can go up or down. But the main point is defense can last regardless. Effort on defense, regardless if your shot's going in, you can still put forth that effort. You can still put forth that effort. So this is a point I wanted to share with everybody, an excellent post by Motor City Sports Talk. Follow his page on YouTube um, for his opinion on, on, on some of the uh, um, Piston moves, Piston players, things that's going on with Detroit. Follow his opinion. You can check out his opinion on that. But this was an excellent post by him. Want to give a shout out to him for that. Shout out also to every everything King. He's been out there hanging out at the uh, Lions camps and the, some things that he's been putting out. Woodward Sports, all of those guys. Um, I follow those guys and check them out. Dion, Dose of Dion, all of those guys. So check those guys out. Also, don't forget, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share any of the content that you know um, someone else who likes the Pistons. 
likes. Please share that with them as well. Right now, I think we're at a 300 and um, uh, 64 subscribers. Knocking on the door for 365, knocking on the door for 400. Everybody that's been down from day one and that's been down since you subscribe, I appreciate your support. So appreciate you. appreciate also your likes. So uh, I'll continue to try to put out good content, content that's intriguing, content that you as Piston fans like me would like to talk about and discuss. Thank everybody for supporting it, for even you for listening. If you like it or subscribe or not, just for listening, I appreciate your support. With that being said, I want everybody to stay safe.